Welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to run SQL queries in KX. Just to note that the data set that will be used to demonstrate the capabilities is a taxi database from NYC Taxi and Limousine Commission with the taxi cab fares from New York City and it's stored in a table called TRIPS. So the first way is with the SQL prompt and it looks like S and a closing round bracket. And what this does is tells the queue interpreter to convert the code first from SQL before executing. And if you were in a terminal rather than in an IDE like KX Developer, it would look like Q round bracket S round bracket. Now we don't see the Q round bracket in the developer IDE as it's hidden, but just so you know, if you see it out in the wild, that's what you'll need to do. And you can see here, we're able to run a very basic statement with this method, just selecting from the trips table for a particular date. Now our second way is SQL evaluate, and that looks like dot S dot E. And this can be added to the beginning of the SQL query. Um, but no, we also have to wrap the query with double quotes with this method. And you'll see here, we're able to run the exact same thing again, just using the second method. Now, given that there are these two methods, how do we know which one to use? The prompt or SQL evaluate? And the main difference is with the first method, we can't actually save the results to a variable. So this method is only really useful if you want to execute some code without saving its result. But the second method, .s.e, does allow us to save the output. So let's run a few examples to see that in action. And you'll see with S prompt, I'm not able to save that result. I'm using um, the colon operator, which is how we do assignment in Q. And there's a link there for assignment if you're not familiar with it. And then you'll see with .s.e, I am actually able to save that output. Now, whether you decide to use S prompt or SQL evaluate, it's down to user preference. But just if you want to save the output, um, you will need to use .s.e, so it's just something to be aware of. Okay, that brings us to the end of this section. This is a quiz time. So head over to the kxsql.quiz module and click on the No Solutions version, and you'll be able to go through that and test your understanding of how to run SQL queries. And don't forget to render your file um, just to make it a little bit easier to read. Okay, brilliant. I'll see you in the next video.